Hi, good day to you all. At first, I want to introduce myself. My name is Jia Chin Yong. I'm a part-time student from the University Technical Malaysia Melaka, as known as UTEM. And my faculty is Faculty Technology Kajurutraan Electric dan Electronic, as known as SD, FTKEE. So, now I took taking the, the subject is BEA 1313 Computer Aid Design, CAD, as known as AutoCAD. So today I want to show you, you, you all my present of my project 3D modeling. So my project chosen is barbell set with weight plate and safety lock. So my lecturer and instructor are Encik Ramlan bin Latif and Encik Amran Hadi bin Azahar. So first of all, I want to introduce what is barbell. A barbell is a piece of exercise equipment usually used in weight training such as bodybuilding, weightlifting and powerlifting. It consists of a long bar usually with weight plate attached at the end side. So the trainer usually use it to do the strength training for developing the strength and the size of the skeletal muscle. It makes the muscle more stronger and more powerful and is used to utilize the force gravity in the form of the weight bar. So there are three common parts in the barbell set. First one is the most common is barbell. So second is the weight plate such as for the certain size such as 20 kg, 15 kg and 10 kg something like that. And the lastly is the safety lock. The main purpose of safety lock is avoid the weight plate slip up from the barbell during the trainer use it to cause us the casualty or harmless. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna show how to draw the barbell. So this is a picture I found on the internet that is the standard size of an Olympic barbell dimension. Okay, first of all, I, I have copied the whole picture and put in the AutoCAD so easy to refer. Since the radius of the bar they didn't give, so I just put myself. So the, the weight plate hanger, I put it at 50. The stopper, I put it at 80. And the holder, I put it at 31.75. All in mm. So all the cm, I had to convert in mm. So for the barbell, it's very simple. As you can see, I create a three circle so I can easy to press pull it. First of all, I choose my UCS or type the UCS in the command to make sure the circle not in the wrong way. Usually I put on the front or I just adjust the UCS. If you didn't adjust, your circle won't be the correct one. So it's very easy. After the UCS correct, then I can make myself circle easily and the correct in the correct positioning. So I simply make a circle. For the circle, I follow the dimension given. So I use the command press pull to press pull my cone. And you can type the dimension so you can follow the length given. After I press pull the three part completely, so I need to assemble them. So I change to the 2D view, so make me easy to find the midpoint. So I select the item I want to assemble. I select the midpoint. I found another item midpoint. So I change back to the realistic, so you can see it in full assembly. The same, same, at the same way, I select it all, I move it, I select again the midpoint, I select another midpoint of the item, so I change back to the stick, so you can see it is totally assembled it, after that, same at this, the other side, so I select all, I use the command union, so make it, it become a, a whole item. So I press union. So 
master lagi one by one and I press enter so it become a item so this is the way I get my whole barbell follow the drawing given so this is the drawing I have created after I do the whole barbell that is isometric side view front view so all the follow the dimension and the length given by the drawing so for the second part we got the weight plate so first need to know the weight plate characteristic so this is the different weight plates and a different size so i choose the size 10 kilo 15 kilo and 25 kilo beside that the weight plate also have their own color code so it's in my AutoCAD as you can see I already create the three simple plate so the plate is usually same with the the barbell so first I just create using the diameter to the circle and make sure the make sure the UCS and the positioning are correct so the position of circle are correct so for the example I use the diameter I put 450 so you come out a circle so I just use the press pull to make the thickness of the barbell for example I put the 41 again in this set I can get a barbell plate then in the middle hole I do another diameter circle first I find the midpoint then for the example I put 50 so I get the middle point of the center hole after that, I use the press pull so I can get a simple already done a barbell plate so for the color code I just simply double click or choosing the layer so I can simply change the color or I just right click the item I just choose property so it come up the property so I can also change the color here after choosing the color the last i put the wording for the wording i use the annotate then at the multi line text i simply click create a, a square and just type the word i need uh, for example 25 kg then i press enter so i can find my wording so i can change the size i highlight i change the size for example 25 so i can get a get the same size with the word I want so lastly I move I use the move I select the center make sure they are parallel with the line so I didn't put in the middle I put the top a bit so I can get my web plate and the word so this is for the web plate how, we, how I created so this is a three after I created say 10 kilo 15 kilo and 25 kilo or follow the dimension given by the drawing so the last item I go to the safety lock for the barbell so usually the safety lock are many type so there is a twist type clamp type spring clamp type and round up type for this project i use the twist type so the twist type can can be separate in two parts that is the handle and the ring body so i choose because they the thread like the ball and nut so before that i need to know the thread size so this is the thread size for the handle and this is another size for the ring like the nut the part of the handle I same I create a circle make sure the UCS are follow and I simply use the press pull to press the cylinder I want or the cone I want push 50 and I get the cone for the thread I have created a triangle there is the length size high I use the 1.75 and 
then the thickness I use the 1.25 so I get a triangle after that I use the fillet function I put the radius I use 0 0.2 0 0.2887 I press enter I select the two, two side then I can get a my thread I wanted after get the thread I wanted I delete the line I don't want so I select all and use the command join to make sure they become an item so I can get the thread size that I want after that I want to clear the helix I change to the 2D so I type helix command so select the center point then the diameter I use same as the my cone then I press enter so the height follow the drawing given the thread height I right click I choose turn height I use 2 the distance I use 2 so I can get the thread size so the height I put 30 for example so I get my helix I get my helix then I get my thread size so I can proceed my create my uh, my thread so I select all the thread, thread size I move it I select the point I put at the helix end point so and I select the UCS I put parallel with my trace size then I use the command sweep I select my item the my thread press enter I select the path change to realistic back so I can get my trade that I wanted so for the important part of using creating the trade is always adjust your UCS so make sure it's away on the correct position if not in the correct position you make make the correct you won't make the correct trade so this is the important thing you need to know so I try it many times and I fail many times so last day I get my trade correctly after making the trade so I create the chamfer at the bottom so make sure the cone won't sharp so first I choose the orbit I go to the bottom for my item I want Can see my see my item bottom. So you can see that it's a very sharp, it's flat. So I use the chamfer command. After use the chamfer command and press enter, I select the thing I want to chamfer. First, I select the blender I want. I press enter. Expression I press same size. Enter again. Enter again. The loop I select the same. And I press enter. So you can see I get a flat and very smooth screw bottom. So it won't be sharp. After creating the whole screw, then I creating the handle, I make a square, and I use the fillet command, make it radius 5, then I put at the, the same parallel with my screw, then I use the press pull command to press pull it, then change the color. After that, I union it so it become a handle. 
So for the ring, exactly same with the screw with the handle. So I also make a square where I press pull it. I press pull the middle and become a hole. After that I use the dimension the same as the thread. I make the inside thread. Then I will get this. After that I use the subtract command. Then you subtract the inside the thread. So I will get this. After that same, I use the chamfer. I chamfer the side and the bottom. So the edge will won't become the shop. So this is a two item I get after I create a drawing that the scale and the tree size. So this is a green. So lastly I create the pre-assemble and the assemble item of the item. For the pre-assemble item, I just make a I make a straight line to hold the item. So I just put the middle of all the item in the center line. So I can make sure my item are parallel. After that, I use the line to combine it and assemble become a full item. So this is a full item I get. So like the drawing given. So that's all for my presentation. So thank you for your watching and your attention and good day to you. Thank you.